السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين Welcome to section 2 of Islam 201 In this section we, are, we will speak about the cornerstone of Islam We will speak about the most important belief in Islam What Islam stands upon what distinguishes Islam from all of the other man-made religions? And that is Tawheed. We will speak about Tawheed. A Tawheed is the belief in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will speak about Tawheed, its meaning. We will speak about the categories of Tawheed, which is Allah's Lordship, Rububiyyah. Allah's names and attributes, al asma wa sifat and Allah's exclusive right of being worshipped, and that is Tawheed al-Uluhiyyah. Let's get to it. So Tawheed is the Islam's cornerstone. It is the most important belief in Islam. It is the root of all matter in Islam. Everything is an offshoot of Tawheed. All of Islam stands upon Tawheed. If anyone was to talk to you about Islam and they didn't speak about Tawheed, then they spoke about uh, secondary matters. They spoke about the branches, but they did not speak about the root. They did not speak about the most important matter. So Tawheed... Linguistically means to distinguish, to make something distinguish, to make something one, right? Uh, in Islam, Tawheed means to distinguish Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his creation, to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one, as he is one and only. To make him unique from his creation. So belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the cornerstone of the entire religion of Islam. In fact, there is no other religion on earth that has placed such focus on the correct belief about the creator more than Islam has. Additionally, all of the Islamic subjects are firmly grounded in this belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, any earnest discussion on Islam has to begin with the concept of the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is extremely important, especially when we give da'wah, when we speak to people about Islam. People might want to speak about women's issues. People might want to speak about the punishments in Islam, the hudud. People might want to speak about um, hijab, the beard. They might want to speak about the prayers. They might want to speak about whatever they want to speak about. If it is not rooted in the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person will not understand. They must first and foremost understand the concept of Tawheed, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. They must understand who Allah is. Because once they understand Allah, then we say, Allah, this Allah has revealed this. And now we can try to reason with them. And they will understand Islam is distinguished from all other religions in the world today by the concept of Tawheed not only today always it means to distinguish Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all of his creation in that he is the only one who is the creator and the administrator of the entire creation from that it naturally follows that all creation must worship him alone. And in order to know him, he has revealed messages and chosen prophets and messengers and taught them his names and attributes that are distinguished from his creation. Why? So we may know him. Because the only way to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah telling us about him because one cannot dream about Allah 
One cannot learn about Allah through dreams. One cannot learn about Allah through visions. One cannot learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through any philosophers, scientists, wise men. No. The only way to know about Allah is through Allah's revelation. And that is why, you know, we learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through prophets and messengers that bring the revelation to us. So in conclusion, Tawheed means to distinguish Allah from His creation in three aspects. Number one, in His Lordship, meaning He is the only creator. We will speak about this very soon in detail. Number two, in His names and attributes. In His names and attributes. I, first, He is the only creator of all creation. Number two, we get to know Him through His names and through His attributes. And once we know Him, we will realize that he has the exclusive right of being worshipped alone without any partners.